Hey guys, Theo Epstein may have left town, but he returns every year for his annual hot stove cool music event right here at the Paradise Rock Club. His crew is inside getting ready to heat up this otherwise chilly night. Let's go inside and rock the paradise. Guys, here with Theo Epstein, uh, back back from Chi-Town, and uh, the, one of the co-founders, right, of Hot Stove Cool Music? I, I came in in year three. Year three, was that 2003 or 2004? That was uh, 2002. 2002, but in 2004, you helped uh, the Boston Red Sox win the first World Series in 86 years. This man should never have to buy another drink <laughs> in Boston. Hey guys, here with uh, Bill from Buffalo Talk. I've been like I've been an organizer and founder in a way uh, since, since the uh, since the early days, and I'm trying to help out with uh, with booking the bands. And I got Michael Malley involved. Excellent. And, yeah. <laughs> Like okay. I brought, I brought uh, Tanya in, and uh, Tanya Donnelly, okay. if it wasn't for me, these people wouldn't be here. Yeah, we wouldn't even have Pop Stole Cool yeah, Music Pop I mean, 14. Really, yeah, it's synonymous <laughs> with me. Hey guys, I'm here with the Parkington Sisters, who are just arriving here at Hot Stove Cool Music. Uh, what can we expect out of you ladies this evening? Oh, man, uh, we're going to rock. We're going to have, like, gymnasts and, I don't know, circus. And, circus. You know, we're just going to have a great time tonight. We're excited and honored to be here. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, here with two-time nominee for a Grammy, Miss Tanya Donnelly, and uh, this is her second time at Hot Stove Cool Music. Here with Mike O'Malley backstage, host Dirty of Hot water. Stove Cool Music. All right? How you Somebody been? Somebody clean the water. <laughs> this concert has been phenomenal. Hey guys, uh, here with Greg Barrett, uh, actually fellow comedian who I saw kill it on Colin O'Brien a few years back. And, and since then, not only are you a comedian now, you're a writer. The book, He's Just Not Into You. And tonight I saw you wail like an animal on the guitar today. Uh, nice, nice to meet you, my oh, friend. Oh man, nice to meet you as well. Yeah. So here's what I decided to do. So I'm, I'll be 50 in, uh, in July. So I decided if I don't die and, I, and if I die and I haven't been in a band, I'm going to bum out. Also, you were known as the, uh, what, was, what was the thing on ESPN that you first were known as? You're going to have to check your back. No, no, I, look, at I, I, I knew it last year, but we were, we were drinking last year. I am not going to do your research <laughs> for you. He'll never know. He's that, not a sports guy. What the heck was that other thing? Was that it the did? goods? Was it the oh, goods? Was the other no, thing? I know you've been on no, Glee and Yes on? Day with our what friend Anthony thing? Clark and what all that. What the those. heck was that We're thing fans. you were doing? You won the Anyways. award last year, the Boston Musical uh, Film Award. You won that last yes, year. Yes, hey, now see somebody's paying attention for a movie Thank I wrote. Yeah. No, I, I was a character on ESPN called The Rick. God darn it, I knew yes. that. You were The Rick. Hey guys, uh, backstage here at Hot Stove Cool Music with Seth Justman from the legendary band, Jay Giles Band. Hey guys, backstage here with Dan Housley from Channel 7 at Hot Stove Cool Music. Well, the, you guys, I mean, you guys are legendary. You guys actually got to play at Fenway Park not too long ago. That must yes. have been a great experience. Can you tell me a little bit about that? It was just a great, great thrill. It was weird being out in the outfield <laughs> and looking in instead of in the stands looking out, you know. Hey guys, here with legendary sports announcer, Mr. Peter Gammons, actually co-founder of Hot Stove Cool, cool music. I wanted to do a charity event, and they knew I didn't want to do a golf tournament, so we decided to do a rock and roll concert, and it's evolved. This is our 14th, and we, this is unique. I mean, it's not quite like anything else, and that's, that's sort of the fun of it. The most important thing is the money raised for the nonprofits and these people who do so much for our community that they need every bit of support they can have. Hey guys, uh, backstage here with six time Boston Music Award winner. Barron's Whitfield, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Who actually kicked Bobby Brown's butt and won the award? Is that correct? Yeah, I, I, I made him. I made him chicken fodder. Hope to do there what we did here, and maybe play the Red Sox in the World Series someday. Well, hopefully, if we do play the Chicago uh, Cubs in the World Series, I think Armageddon might occur. I don't know. I'm ready for it. Hey guys, backstage here with legendary musician Robin Lane. Now, uh, I, I know you, uh, one thing that you're known for, you had the 11th video ever on MTV. Can you let the audience know what that was? When Things Go Wrong was the song. When Things Go Wrong and the name of your band was? Robin Lane and the Chartbusters. <laughs> that, that's correct. Now, I also got some information. A misnomer. I, guys, uh, we, gotta th we gotta thank Mike O'Malley for always coming back. He flies from the West Coast, come here every year for Hot Stove, Cool Music, hosts it, kicks butt, raised over $5 million. It's time to clean the water. Michael Malley backstage. Well, we're all waiting for spring training to start late next month, but it's great to see music and baseball come together to hit another home run to raise money for at-risk youth right here in downtown Boston. I'm Dave Russo reporting for Dirty Water TV.